28th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, energynews.com again. Uh, a lot of headlines. I'm just going to go ahead and read them out to you real quick. Uh, feel free to follow these stories. There's a lot of good ones today. Senator, we hope we'll be in better position to avoid a catastrophic fire at Los Alamos Lab. We'll find out. And they have a video attached. New York Times is reporting that local fire chief says Los Alamos wildfires is entirely uncontained and highly unpredictable. All aircraft have been grounded due to high winds, Los Alamos fire chief says. Uh, report up to 30,000 drums of plutonium contaminated waste stored in fabric tents above the ground at Los Alamos dump site. The lab declines to comment. Of course they do. Congressman, it's pretty jarring to see a boat tied up to a nuclear power plant. A new aerial footage of Fort Calhoun is released and video is attached. NBC News, this has grown much more serious than just the last few hours at Los Alamos nuclear facility. Mandatory evacuations ordered. Fire chief Fire chief won't say fire will, won't go into the lab. So uh, these fires just continue. River water now surrounds spent fuel pool building and main reactor building at Fort Calhoun after collapse of water filled dam. Barriers at entrances to keep water out. Uh, and um, of course they had the... I, I was watching some some stories on uh, the Weather Channel today about uh, how everything's under control. They had they had the guy out there, the nuclear commission guy, and he was saying that everything's safe, blah blah blah. And uh, they no mention of um, 20 years of spent fuel rods stored there or any of the other madness that's been going on that we've uh, been covering lately. Just insanity. Fire officials shocked and stunned at how fast Los Alamos fire has grown. Uh, Los Alamos chief, this fire is going to be with us for a while. Potential to double and triple in size. It's already at 68 square miles. 5.42 p.m. Eastern Time, fire has crossed into Los Alamos lab property at technical area number 49. 100% 100% chance of reactor core damage if floodwaters went above 110 feet at Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Plant. The NRC said that in 2010, river now around 1,007 feet and expected to rise. Again, they're saying they got this under control, but they have no idea. Um, Thank goodness we've had a little break on the rain today. Floodwaters enters turbine building at Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Plant. Of course, they're running on emergency power. Man rescues dogs seen in Fukushima's plant's webcam. TEPCO demands they be returned during ghoulish and bizarre conversation. They don't want any proof. Uh, Manachi... The melted nuclear fuel is sinking towards water underground. And again, um, this is Fukushima, and three reactors cracked and busted, and uh, they can't they can't stop the news leaking out. They they just can't stop the news leaking out, and it's and it's becoming more and more frightening every day. <clears throat> Tepco halts water circulation due to leaks at the Fukushima plant. And again, they're, they're not putting more, any more fresh water into these things because uh, it's just leaking right through into the groundwater now and they can't hide that. And uh, what are they going to do now? You know, here it is four months later. What are they going to do now? And uh, again, uh, Los Alamos fire stories and how um, many containers of fuel to power pumps were washed away after breach in Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. A couple hundred... Uh, gallons of fuel, barrels of fuel uh, were washed down river when they lost that. 
Uh, new documents show only 11 days ago, workers at Fort Calhoun Nuclear Power Plant were still plugging holes where water can come in, and they have a video on that as well. Uh, over to the extinction protocol, a sinkhole takes huge chunk out of busy Ontario Highway in Canada. A section of Highway 148 near Luxville, Ontario is now a canyon, 18 meters deep, a victim of Friday's heavy rains. Remarkably, the family living next to the giant gap owns a construction company with expertise in exactly the type of work that will be needed to fix the road. Well, how convenient for them. Risk of war, Middle East rising daily in high-stakes game of brigandship. And uh, this is a story about uh, the Iranians are having missile drills for the next 10 days. Uh, fear, peace, blah, blah, blah. New study finds massive earthquake could strike California at any time. That is no big surprise if you're uh, into following earthquakes, earthquakes and the ring of fire and all of that. Uh, they're saying something about the heavy floods is the weight down on it and that, that could trigger something. New Mexico wildfire closes Los Alamos Nuclear Laboratory. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Lake Tahoe tsunami, a sleeping mega disaster waiting to happen. Uh, basically saying Lake Tahoe's on three major fault lines. And if they got a big quake, um, <clears throat> something were to happen there, and they have a video, of course. Recent tremor in Haiti sets off panic in the capital. A shallow M three and a half quake on June 24th gave the ground a shake, and people rushed out of buildings, windows, and into the streets. It was felt in Port-au-Prince and other local towns affected by the 7.0 earthquake. And again, these people are still in tents. Insanity. Radioactivity found in urine of residents living near crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant. I reported on this yesterday. Uh, three millisieverts on all 15 people tested. Um, these people are radioactive in the city of Fukushima. Fukushima Prefecture, Japan. They can't hide. They, they can't stop the news leaking out. They can't stop the news leaking anymore. Freak hailstorm reported in Swedish capital. Stockholm and the Fort Calhoun story. Signs of ge geological turbulence in Gurat, India. Uh, mega storms, and that is on a major um, plate, the Indian and the Asian plate. Shaking and rolling over to earthchangesscott.net. Uh, the California, the Los Alamos, uh, the Australia sinkhole swallows southeast Queensland Beach. Again, I reported on this last night. They got videos up. East China coast braces for tropical storm Mary. And Chile cloud may halt winter escapes, and again, the, the volcano in Chile is still shutting down flights. Over to the RSOE quick. Of course, we have flooding in uh, North Dakota, Minot, Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa flooding ongoing. Uh, flooding in China, flooding in um, the, the, the Fort Calhoun flooding story. Fires in Texas, fires in Arizona, New Mexico. I was seeing stories of fires in um, Alabama, southern Georgia, Florida, on the on the TV. Uh, drought in Colorado, and again fires. A uh, nuclear event in uh, New Jersey at the Salem nuclear power plant. Uh, one of the reactors was tripped. Uh, they're saying everything's under control. Forced fire near uh, Boulder, Colorado, and uh, flash floods in Canada. And that is about all I have for you today. Of course, if, if I've missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Um, enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.